You're watching Orange Nation TV. Abigail Metch and Ode Yusuf from Orange Nation TV preparing for this Friday's Senior Night against Granite Hills. Abigail Metch here with Orange Nation TV. I'm here with Yusuf and Ian, two of our varsity seniors. So guys, tell me, what's some of your favorite memories from playing at Valhalla? I would have to say last Friday, running that helmet shot helmet was... I agree, was yeah. Because as seniors, the class of 2013, we've lost them three times, and finally winning the last one felt good. That They're not going to remember their first three wins, they're just going to remember the last loss we gave them, so that's probably the best memory we've had. How would you guys explain your experience playing at Valhalla? That's been amazing. Just being part of the team and playing football is just, every day counts. It's yeah, every day, every day is fun, you know. We're out here with our friends, and we're just having fun playing a sport that we all love. And yeah, I'm never going to forget the summers in the morning, waking up. It's been a good experience. What would you guys say to an incoming freshman who's coming into this program? Don't, don't waste time. Like, try hard every day, put in 100% effort, because once it's, once it's gone, it's gone. Because four years, it's a it five months. Yeah, it flew by really <laughs> fast. You just got to make sure to come in and work hard, give 100% every day. Because once you know it, the summer's going to be done. Then after that, you're halfway through the season. The next thing you know, it's over. Exactly. What are you guys going to miss the most about playing here? Um, just probably just the whole experience of playing football, and being out here with some of our best friends, the home games, you know, everything about it. It's, it's the little stuff in between practice, you know, maybe like in between two days, hanging out, having an excuse to be with friends just because it's during football, you know. And I'd being under the nice. lights is an amazing feeling. Yeah, Friday really nights. Nice. Well, thank you guys for being here and good luck the rest of your season. Thank you. Abigail Metchi with Orange Nation TV. I'm here with Martin, Lorenzo, and Brian, three of our varsity seniors. So guys, tell me, what are some of your favorite memories from this season and from all four years playing at Valhalla? Uh, my favorite memory is probably coming back from my injury last year when I told myself, hey, coming back strong and finally getting to play my second game, uh, the second game of the season. My favorite memory was when we beat Grossmont. Um, we were 7-0 and we finally the handed them the first loss, so that was, that, that was definitely a favorite. I think a very positive memory was last week we got the Hamstrong helmet back. Uh, this art class hasn't beaten them at all, so it was a very positive memory for us. Um, well, what would you guys say that is the toughest part about being on varsity? I think just the pressure of having to perform each and every week and just coming out and practice and lifting weights and all that. What advice would you guys give to an incoming freshman? I would just say work hard, don't slack off whatsoever, make sure you stay with your grades and just keep up with the coaches, what they have to say, and just learn more. Yeah, like what Martin said, you know, just there's a lot of competition out there. You just have to compete, work hard, and, every, and then you soon get your opportunity before you know it. What are you guys going to miss the most about playing here at Valhalla? Probably, probably up to the lights on Fridays, game day. Yeah, the friend, your coaches, you know, all your friends out there, out there in the game, and all the fans. I'll probably agree with that, but also like, just the camaraderie with your teammates and all the help. Some of the behind the scenes stuff, but people don't get to see it. Well, thank you for being here and good luck the rest of the season, guys. Thank you. Ode Yusuf here with Orange Nation TV, here with Sol and Nehemiah, varsity senior football players on the Valhalla football team. So guys, um, this is your senior year and playing football for Valhalla has probably been a really great experience for you guys. What do you think was the greatest part of it? Uh, definitely playing under Coach Bussey. Uh, you know, the transition last year from uh, Coach Sutton. It was uh, real different for us, and uh, playing with Coach Bussey was a big, a big change, but I think it was for the better. So I don't want Nimai said Coach Bussey was really a pleasure. It really has been and continues to be a pleasure playing with them and stuff. And uh, the best part, I would say, is just uh, being able to play with all my senior classmates and seeing us progress through the years as teammates and uh, get closer. What's these to play, you know, and stuff. Uh, last Friday. And with uh, many of you years of uh, experience playing for varsity and playing for Valhalla, what advice would you give to a, um, a freshman coming to looking to join the team, or even JV people who are considering uh, staying on to varsity? Uh, you know, just staying focused, like getting your grades right, and being eligible for it. You can't miss a game, like anything like that. Uh, working out, like staying focused, like what you need to do, everything, every day. 
And uh, your last game versus Steel Canyon, obviously you guys got the helmet, shot, helmet back. Something your class hasn't been able to do is beat Steel Canyon in the years you've played at Valhalla. And it's something definitely that you guys are proud of doing. Um, what was the excitement like after the game and even before the game, you know, know, knowing you guys uh, wanted that helmet back your senior year? Uh, you know, we were definitely hyped up before the game. Uh, there's been a lot of talking like on social media, Twitter and Facebook. And uh, so coming to the game, we were really hyped, like we were ready to play them. And then uh, after the game, it was a relief, you know, beating them finally and uh, getting the helmet back. Yeah, we, we really didn't have the helmet. Like, we lost it my sophomore year, so it was like a big thing for uh, my class like, to get it back. It was our last chance. And uh, after, it's a pleasure, like, you know, I felt like we won a little championship, you know, sometime between us, because, like, Stick is right around the corner, so, like, we know a lot of kids from the schools and stuff, and, like, we're always talking about it, so it's just something that we get to hold on as a senior. And uh, during the last game versus Steel Cannon, uh, you guys had a great play together, and you know, you picked it off and uh, lateraled it to uh, Seoul, where you eventually got a touchdown, kind of put you guys in the lead for the first time that day, you know, one of the greatest plays I've ever seen, to be honest with you. And um, what was going on during that play? What was in your heads and, you know, what happened when you lateraled in? Uh, you know, me and Sol, like, uh, we've been playing together for a while, so we know what to do, like, on the field. We know each other. Uh, so after I got the interception, so we're screaming, come this way, come this way, so we can get the block on the other guy. That's what really set me loose and uh, got me around the corner. And then uh, on my way down, he was yelling, give me the ball. So I saw him open, toss the ball, and uh, took it. Yeah, like you said, we just communication, you know, we've been playing for a while, so we have good communication with each other, and uh, that's what we're trying to get with the whole team so we can win this season and uh, try to make the most of uh, what we have. Now, going into this Friday's game versus Mount McGill, uh, versus Granite Hills, excuse me, uh, you guys have a uh, last game of the season, and uh, we're assuming you guys are getting into the playoffs, having a home playoff game. Um, is that something you guys are um, looking forward to? Or your, what are your motivation levels going into playoffs? Well, for sure, it's uh, senior night. Uh, oh so my god, they're so no good! Game. So last game, uh, last home game should be uh, uh, during the regular season. So it's uh, pretty special for us. Uh, going into the playoffs, uh, we know we're going to be focused. Uh, trying to make as uh, little mistakes as possible. And uh, we're trying to win. Okay. Yeah, Thank you. Um, it's our last game for seniors, a senior senior night, like you said. But uh, we're just trying to use this game, correct some stuff from last week. You know, we're not a perfect team, so we're just using this game. We're, we're pretty sure that we can get past them. We're just using this game as a just to focus and uh, execute our plays the right way and whatnot, and uh, help us going into the playoffs. Thank you, Sol. Thank you, Nehemiah. I'm Ode Yusuf from Orange Nation TV. Ode Yusuf with Orange Nation TV here with Coach Bussy of the Valhalla Varsity Football Team. Coach, uh, you guys had a great game against Steel Canyon on Friday. Brought that Hamisha helmet back, uh, your first one. Uh, what was the um, emotion of the game before the game? Um, you know, knowing coming into this that you got you had one one, and then after the game, knowing you finally got it. You know, I mean, of course, Granite Hills is the traditional rival of Valhalla, uh, uh, but you know, the last few years, Steel Canyon has really become a pretty intense rivalry. Uh, unfortunately, more times than not, they've, they've won that rivalry in the varsity football level. Uh, but you know, this year we had an opportunity to get the seniors their first uh, win against Steel Cannon and uh, bring that Hamishaw helmet back and it was really exciting to uh, be part of that. The kids were fired up from the beginning. Uh, one of our assistant coaches, uh, Winston Martin, gave the pregame speech and really had to get the kids motivated coming in. Uh, you might not be able to tell from falling into a 14 nothing hole as we did, but uh, the kids fought back hard and, and really played well towards the end. And uh, you guys, you know, did come off slow, as you just said, 14, um, you were down by 14 points in the beginning, but eventually came back to uh, be up by two touchdowns and get the win. What changed from that, and that it's been going on the whole season, starting slow and then coming out strong. Did anything change in this game specifically? Uh, you know, we tried to change some things up to try to get ourselves to come out to a, you know, to a faster start, and unfortunately we weren't successful with that. Um, but, you know, to the kids' credit, as the game went on, I mean, uh, they got up to a 14-point lead, and by by halftime, we were able to you know tie it up. And, uh, in the second half, you know, they had a big score, but once the defense brought back an interception on a uh, big play on interception, that really changed the momentum for us. And uh, before the half ended, there was two touchdown plays that could have been touchdowns, but unfortunately, because the penalties were. Uh, 
But back in same thing, uh, there was a lot of penalties like in the Grossman game as well. What's happening? What do you tell your team after you know things like that that could have changed the momentum of the game? You know, it's hard because players and coaches like, would like to be able to point the finger at, at the referees and say, hey, wait a second, why aren't we getting the calls as well? But when you look at, at the flags individually, more times than not, the refs are correct and we've done something that you know, we shouldn't have done. Uh, it's something we were aware of, something we definitely need to clean up heading into the playoffs. Um, we hope to get where we want to go. And uh, speaking of playoffs, you guys are playing Granite Hills next week, and uh, they haven't done so well this uh this year, but um, nevertheless, you guys will still play hard, as I assume. But assuming you guys make it into the playoffs, and and then your team continues on to its uh, continues on plays really hard. What are your expectations? How do you think you guys will do, do as well as you have in years past? Well, I mean, at the beginning of the season, every coach's uh, goal is just to make the dance. And at this point, we've pretty much secured ourselves a spot in the playoffs. Um, you know, hopefully, a spot, uh, a home game that first round. Uh, what, and then once you're in, anything can happen. I mean, unlike uh, a basketball or baseball series where there may be multiple games, it's one game. You know, anybody can win on any given Friday night. So uh, getting into that dance is the key. And we've done that. Getting a home game only helps our odds. And from there, we roll the dice and see how they land. And uh, your offense throughout the season has definitely played very well. And um, your defense has played well as well, but improved. Uh, you know, as games have come and gone in certain areas um, that you know you have seen in the scores of games. Do you think it's still the same way as has there, you know the defensive power match the offensive power that this team has been playing with? Oh, uh, I think the defense ever since about midseason really turned turned it on, really gelled, uh, started flying around the football, and we're now starting to see the dividends of that. With five interceptions last week, uh, four sacks. In the previous game against uh, Coast Spot, uh, had a few sacks and a few turnovers as well. Um, so we're really starting to see the dividends of their hard work, and you know they're starting to be mentioned a little bit with the offense. I think Mahalo for the last few years has been an offensive-oriented team. Uh, they tend to get the publicity, and you know, we're, high, we're a high-scoring team, which is great. But the defense is starting to make it. So. And uh, the last question, Coach, you've had 43 seniors. You have 43 seniors on your team this year, and um, obviously that's a lot for the size of your team and you're going to have a lot of um, juniors and sophomores coming into varsity next year. What's going to be different, you think, as a head coach coming into next year's uh, next season uh, with all these seniors you know, leaving? Um, it's kind of a mixed bag in the sense that we have a lot of seniors this year, but I would say a good quarter of them were guys that weren't really experienced. They had left the program for one reason or another as a junior or a sophomore if you're just coming back and having not played in a few years. So, um, but you might think 43 seniors are a ton of experience. There was a handful that just didn't have that experience. Uh, but even more so next year with the loss of so many um, seniors, we are going to have to be a little bit less experienced. We're going to have to maybe dial back some things a little bit here and there, um, which is okay because it allows us to really focus on um, the fundamental aspects of our defense and our offense. Um, and at the same time, we, we, you know, when you're starting with younger players, they're going to get a chance to grow uh, over the next couple of years and really get to understand the offense and the defense. So that, you know, as we work our way there, we you know, obviously hope to have great seasons, but as the time progresses, we should get better and better and better. Uh, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Good luck next week. Appreciate it. Go to East if you're more